Hi students, in previous class we have, we have seen about Klukhan and Strothbeck theory and Hall's theory of cultural context. In today's class, let us see about and Lorentz study of culture and Lorentz's cross-cultural studies. Now let's see and Lorentz study of culture. And Lorentz study of culture. The research by Laurent was directed to bring into focus some of the implicit management and organizational assumptions that managers are known to have. It is not so much to explore national differences. In Andrew Laurent's study of culture, he has researched and he, direct, he was directed to bring focus on some of the implicit management and organizational assumptions where managers are known to have it. And uh, here there is no, ma not so much to explore about national differences. Current has used four parameters in order to study about the culture. The four parameters are perception, perceptions of the organizations, authority systems, role formulation systems and hierarchical systems. Here, um, what are, uh, by using these four parameters, Laurent had conducted his study on culture. The research treated management as a process by which managers express their cultural values. It examined how far a manager carries his status into the wider context outside the workplace. Managers play an important role in society through their professional activity. Through his research, through Lawrence's research, he treated management as a process and he studied on the managers how they behave out of the workplace, whether they carry the status uh, outside the workplace or not. And managers play an important role in society through their professional activity. For example, in France and Italy, managers carry the status into activities outside the workplace. But while coming to Danish and British, managers are less able to apply their organizational status to influence their non-workplace relationships uh, which means British managers can play easily under his subordinate in a club match uh, and while coming to French or Italian managers they cannot uh, they can't play under their subordinates in contrast and in some countries like Eastern and Middle Eastern societies managers are expected to behave as a managers even outside the workplace also these are the this is the main difference uh, studied studied by the and lawrence in his study of culture now let's see lawrence's cross cultural studies p lawrence tried to identify the managers perceived as being more important for career success for example American managers, the single most important criterion to have a successful career with the company was ambition, drive and a pragmatic, individualistic, achievement oriented assessment system. Here, uh, how, what the study of Lawrence's has, has been identified means what managers perceived as being most important for career success, what the managers uh, will take the will will consider as most important factor for their success for example american managers um, main import most important criterion is having a successful career with the company was ambition and drive and a pragmatic individualistic achievement these are considered for their uh, these qualities are considered by the American managers in order to build up their successful career. For the French, the most important criterion was being labeled as having potential. That means a more social and political reading of the same system. They, they believe in that having labeled as a potential. That means uh, the manager is having potential to build up their company, to develop their company like that. While coming to German managers, they believe on, on creativity, which was essential for success. They consider creativity as a main criteria for their success. In their mind, the most successful manager is the one who has a right individual characteristics. In German managers' mind, they consider that 
uh, a successful manager is one who has right individualistic character this is what p l orange has been identified in his cross cultural studies now let's see the problems in cross cultural management in cross welcoming to the problems in cross cultural management there will be two types of problems <coughs> manager side also also now let's see the managers uh, through managers says uh, through managers says what are the problems in cross cultural management the first one is insufficient awareness of existence of difference that means when we are in a position of a manager we have to be aware of each and every difference if we are not if we are not aware of that such differences then it will be a problem for managers and the second one is insufficient understanding uh, lack of understanding is also one of the problem for cross cultural management and insufficient willingness when we are in a position of like man when we are in a manager position we have to believe and we have to be willing to any culture and we have to behave according to that culture where we are living so without that lack of willingness also the managers may face problems in cross cultural management and the fourth problem is insufficient level of abilities and skills having lack of this is one of the problems in cross cultural management now let's see from cultural management now let's see from the workers point of view what will be the problems in cross cultural management success of cooperation depends to a great extent on abilities of workers who operate in multicultural conditions unfortunately cooperation in international conditions is often not as successful as managers originally expected if there is a cooperation between workers in multicultural conditions then there will be a great extent for the success but unfortunately some managers may not accept for the cooperation international cooperation let's see the um, some frequent reasons there are different cultural environments there is many cultures in our world and many differences in culture that is one of the reason and the second one is misunderstandings or conflicts and they by misunderstandings and conflicts also there will be a problem in cross cultural management and next one is different perception the perceptions will be different from one culture to another culture this is also the main reason for problems in cross cultural management now let's see importance of cross cultural management though there are problems but there will be some advantages also for cross cultural management now let's see those importance communicate effectively with customers suppliers business associates and partners in other countries and with foreign employees by this cross cultural management only we can communicate easily with our suppliers customers and with some foreign employees also and the second importance is we can conduct negotiations and understand the nonsense of the beginning postures of the other parties into a negotiation we can by this cross cultural management we can uh, negotiate with uh, our employees and with suppliers and in the same way we can negotiate with other parties also through this cross cultural management and the third importance is we can predict trends in social behavior likely to affect the firm's foreign operations and the next importance is understand ethical standards and concepts of social responsibility in various countries while we are studying about this cross cultural management we will be aware of the different cultures and in different countries and we can understand what are the ethical standards are there in a particular country where we are going to start our company or where our um, company branch is situated and we will be aware of the social responsibilities in various countries also and the next one is we can understand about local government policies and influence it for business promotion by this study of cross cultural management we can learn about what are the government policies are existing in the country and the next one is foster relationships between union confederations and employee associations requiring cultural empathy and the next importance of studying this cross cultural management is 
we can build relationships with union management union confederations and employee associations where we are going to start our company or already the company is existing in other country by the cross cultural by the study of this cross cultural management there are uh, these are the importance what we are having thank you and if anyone missed the previous class i will provide the links in the description box please go and check it once and thank you once again and in next class let us learn about international recruitment and selection process thank you